Hi everyone, so now we will learn that how to use state and props in class component. And guys, here we will continue our last video's code because in just last video, we learned that how to create class component. And if again, I am creating these uh, two class component in this video, then our first half of this video will be same as previous video. That's why I will use the uh, components which is created in the last video. And now let's talk about the points. First of all, we need to define state in class component. We have to print the value of this. After that, I will tell you that how to update uh, state in class component, how to pass probes, how to display probes in class component also. And at last, we will cover some important uh, interview questions. All right. So uh, this is our emulator to just check the output. And here we have app.js, which is a class based component we created in last video, right? And we have another component also student.js. Here we will pass our props. I will tell you that how to pass. But again, this is a also class based component. So we will start with the app.js. So whenever you want to define a state in class component, that time you must have to use constructor. All right. So just simply use their constructor like this. And firstly, if you will just directly put their, uh, this dot state and any key to that state, that means this is the state of our component right so you can see that this is the name state of our component and if you just try to save there will be a error here you can see that here you can see that state is undefined why because this state actually belongs to the parent component but our component still don't know how to use where to use this state so that what we can do to just call the parent component constructor uh, or you can see that parent class constructor you just need to call their super keyword right this is the basically a you can say that uh, feature of uh, object oriented programming this is used in uh, java or in typescript and object oriented javascript also so if you want to call your parent class constructor that time you must have to put their super inside your constructor all right like this and now if i will just save this code there will be no error perfect I can define any name to this state, let's say Anil, right? And one more thing, uh, what is constructor? That question could be asked in interview. So this is a default function in any class. And again, this is a feature of object-oriented programming. And here we are using object-oriented programming, right? So this is basically a default function in any class, which will be automatically called whenever your class will be called, right? So uh, once we will, uh, once our uh, app component will be called, this constructor function will automatically called and our state will also define that time. All right. So let's say I'm putting this uh, state name is Anil. Now how I can use this. So just remove this uh, class component text. Simply use JSX uh, brackets and just put there this dot state dot name. So in class component, if you want to call any property, any function of class, that time you must have to use this. All right, and here you can see that this is working perfectly fine. Again, the next thing. So now let's say on the change or change text of this, uh, uh, you can say that uh, text box. So uh, you want to just update this state, then how you going to do that? So let's say I'm just putting there Peter, and we want to just update name state as a Peter. Then how we can do that? For first of all, I'm just telling the basic way. There is a two more two and more than two ways to update the state even directly you can update uh, the state uh, within that uh, own text on text on change text event right but i will create first function then i will uh, update the state inside that right so i'm just putting there update name method right keep in mind you don't need to just put their function keyword const let con or variable inside the class component right and there, let's simply call your uh, this uh, update name function, update name like this. All right. And let's say just directly put there this dot set state. Set state is a function which is uh, responsible for uh, update the any state. So let's say you have a state name is uh, name, then you can simply put there name or any values. Let's say you want to put there Peter, right? Or you have a age there, right? and by default is a zero and you want to update this age then how you can do that so just copy this paste this 
put their age or any age let's say you want to just update 20 or there is a one more way with that way you can up update uh, single uh, state one by one or you can directly put the comma here and just simply use age is let's say 30 or whatever right so both way are correct there is no issue okay so next thing is if i'm just saving it and if i'm just trying to put anything there let's say i'm just putting there h here you can see that state is changed directly with the peter now the next thing is let's say whatever you are just putting in this textbook should be uh, updated in that name state how you can do that simply there is a parameter text even you can use any name like well item data whatever i'm just uh, passing it the text and using there as a well inside our update name function and directly update this inside our state now whatever i am putting inside that state because this is the by default value right i am putting here let's say peter anil siddhu hello whatever i am putting in that uh, 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 text input is displayed there perfect okay so now last thing is how to pass the data from one class component to another class component obviously with the probes but how to use simply as you are doing with the uh, functional component so just you are uh, passing the name probes in the not in a button actually you have to pass it uh, in a student one so name is this dot state dot name perfect and inside the student component just simply get there firstly i am just printing there then i will update right so console dot one this dot props you don't need to import something to just uh, you don't need to just get any parameter uh just put there this dot props and keep in mind it should be inside any function if you directly try to uh, use it inside the class then it will not gonna work because in class we cannot print directly anything you can you should use the function and uh, now let me just try to pass by default this is the name anil and if i am just passing here like a n i l s i d h u here you can see that everything is just working right so what i can what i can do there i can simply use this dot props dot name or you can just uh, create any variable state inside there and just you can show that name perfect okay so now let's uh, let me just try to update anything let's say bruce and this is updating in the uh, child component which is the student dot js and in the main component there also right so that's all for this video if you still have any query any question you can ask me in on instagram on comment section and i will request you to please support me by subscribe my channel like this video and share your feedback in comment section thank you guys thank you so much